And here we are with a new article for a review. This is Uniforms of the Touch, written by Kajitan Wrights. So let's get into that beautiful header. Uh, I do like how it, it it's just beautiful. All right, and the and really interesting lace work for a backdrop really adds to, uh, it really gives the ambiance uh, of it. Um, as the touched serve many different roles in the Church of the Savior, such as agents, guards, and diplomats, their uniforms are diverse. Okay, types. Okay, let's see, okay. Let's just do a, a quick overview of this. We oh, I needed to just start the sprint timer. We'll start that. Okay, we have types, not counselors, masters. Okay, we have symbolism. Okay, master origins. Okay, those look too long. All right, novices wear simple gray tabards with red linings and brown leather underneath it. It makes them easy to distinguish from the touched. It symbolizes the separation from their past and dedicated to their studies and the church. Let go of your past and let the Savior aid you. Mm -hmm. Okay, brown leather underneath. So, underneath it. Okay, I'm not sure what the it is referring to. Are you talking about as a trim along the bottom? Or are you talking about a material that is sandwiched between the lining and the gray tabards to make it a thicker, more protective material? Uh, I'm not sure what you're... Uh, what you mean by underneath it. Okay. Regulars. It, the gray material. Okay, so you may want to say instead of underneath it, you may, uh, and brown layer between the other materials. You could say that. Um, regulars have slight differences in their uniforms depending on the role. They serve in the church, guard, or agent. All of them wear red uniforms with armor in the form of breast and back plates. The armor is made of steel with a silver coating on the chest. Additionally, the guards wear Morian helmets. Regulars also have a silver pin with a sun symbol of the touched. The red cloth and silver breastplate commands as much respect, fear, and courage as the biggest and best armies of the world. Faith, courage, and strength emanate from the touched and their uniforms. Cool. Um, now, the armor is made of steel with a silver coating on the chest. All right. Why is there the silver coating? Okay. Is it purely decorative to make it shiny, to make it look good? Or are there magical properties for having the silver on top of the steel? Okay. Because silver can be expensive depending how abundant it is. All right. Kajutan then I would just add the armor is made of steel with a, a decorative silver coating. Just add the word decorative in there. Um, yeah. Counselors. Counselors wear gray uniforms with gold lining Along the chest downwards goes a piece of red fabric separated by golden lining from the gray material around the neck. They have a red 
and gold collar. From afar, it looks like a necklace, but in reality, it is just a fabric decoration. Counselors often wear dress-like clothes, but they also have trousers, which they wear depends on the situation and their job. Okay. Gray of dignity, red of faith, and gold, gold of nobility. The counselors embody every aspect of the touch. Touched. They are the best of the best. Okay. So you're saying here that which they wear depends on their situation and their jobs. You probably have enough room to expand that. Um, you know, red collars have this, gold collars have this, uh, those with the, you know, what is a little bit more of the decoration, um, stuff like that. Don't they have tarnishing problems with silver? Yes, they would. Silver tarnishes. Uh, it, it oxidizes and tarnishes and would have to be polished regularly to keep up the decorative appearance. Um, we, uh, my, my mother has a, a silver platter from her mother or her grandmother. And she had some silver polish, and it was really cool. The first time my kids were seriously interested in cleaning is when she took the silver polish and started rubbing it onto the silver platter that had tarnished greatly. And it went from a dull gray or even brown. And when they were cleaning it, it, it became the traditional silver um color. Madam Claire, oh, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining us today. I do hope, I really hope you're feeling well. And thank you, thank you, thank you for commenting. Yeah, so they would have to polish it a lot. And you may want to mention that as um, depending, you know, do they have a magic polish? Um, do they have a, that lasts longer or is it just, you know, elbow grease and polish that keeps them shining and it's a sign of great disrespect to ever wear a tarnished, uh, breastplate or chest plate. Okay. Master's uniform is almost the same as counselor's. The main differences are the colors. Master's Master has a completely red uniform with gold lining. Additionally, he wears a necklace with a gold medallion. The medallion has a sun on it, the symbol of the touched. All right. The exact origins of the uniform are a mystery. It is said that these are the colors of the Savior's clothes. Others say that they were chosen arbitrary by one of the high bishops. What is certain is that in the beginning, the uniforms were much simpler. Novices used to wear simple gray habits with hoods. And the first few masters had the same uniform as other counselors. The touch used to be much more humble in their clothing. Today they resemble more nobles than servants of the Savior, a criticism of the touched uniforms. I, I like that you have this criticism in here. That is, I think, some good information and, and helps you know understand a little bit more about it. Um, I'm not exactly a big fan of uniforms are a mystery, because it just sounds like you didn't want to write about it. It just seems kind of um, incomplete. It makes me feel like it wasn't, sure, it was a mystery, but maybe it wasn't thought of. So I would encourage you to expand the origins on it unless... Um, 
yeah, a semi-legendary explanation. Yeah, even if, um, even if they are a mystery, what is an example of one of the mysteries? I like how you're saying they're the colors of the Savior's clothes or the first high bishops. Um, I, I would like to see more on that. Yeah, most of the time people try to come up with stories or explanations, even if they're probably wrong. Or someone would say that their famous ancestor was the one who came up with it. Yeah, very good. Even, even that, you know, legend says, period. You know, you know, when was leather, the leather lining added? When, why is there the collar uh, why is the the necklace there? Why I mean, why is it a physical necklace as opposed to a woven necklace like the collar of the regulars? Um, sidebar: The uniforms are enchanted with magic, making them invulnerable to fire, bullets, and magic. The enchantment works by absorbing all energy from the hit. The uniforms can still be damaged by melee weapons because a blade is able to cut through the enchantment. Cool. All right. Red, gold, gray, silver. Wonderful job. Kajutan, uh, wonderful job. Straight to the point. Um, pictures would be nice. Even if we just saw the patterns of the ribbons or uh, some examples, is it a, you know, what kind of robe is it? Oh, how was the font? The font, um, that's a good point. That's a good question to ask. Um, the font. I didn't have problems reading it, okay? Uh, but then again, I grew up on cur uh, cursive. Um, it may, are you using the same font for the notes as you are the main part of it? And it does make it hard to separate between the two. Um, I personally don't like to use hand script fonts like this for large bodies of text. It's, um, but it does add to the Victorian, um, it does add to the Victorian style the Victorian um, ambiance mood. Okay. All right. Any more questions, Kajutan? Or uh, things that you would like to have feedback on? All right. Great article. Uh, keep it up. Let me throw a like on that. And we'll, uh, we'll continue on with the sprint.